Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you, Tony? Better. Uh, I missed you uh, last night. Thank you. Thank you. But I was very preoccupied and I traveled, I traveled with my father to the emergency room. And, and uh, how, how is your father? Um, better, better. Um, he, he had four ribs broken. Four what? Good evening. Hello, yeah. good evening. Bones. Four ribs. Uh huh, exactly. No way, really? Uh, oh my gosh. So it was very serious. This is not not so serious because uh, the, he don't have perforation with the pulmones. Lungs? Lung. And all the internal organs are okay. And then I uh, only need to uh, analgesics. Uh-huh. Painkillers? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, um, um, the person with 81 years old is very difficult. Delicate, yeah. Work. Fragile, I know. Well, I hope he gets better soon. So take care of him. Mm -hmm. All right. L lucky thing is that it's Friday. So weekend is coming. So you can look after him during the weekend. And everyone, welcome to the class. How are you today? Uh -huh. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, very, very good. Ah, that's the attitude, very good. And the rest of you, everyone, how do you feel? Uh-huh. How do you feel? Very no, good, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Very good, Juan. Very good. Great, um, teacher. And you? How very do you good, feel? Great. Ah, very good. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Celia. Well, I'm happy to see you here, everyone. And it's Friday. So, any plans for the weekend? Yes, teacher. Sleep. Ah. <laughs> oh, on the weekend. <laughs> that sounds like a very good plan. Okay. And the rest of you, everyone, do you have any other plans during the weekend? The, the last weekend, uh, we're going to the beach. Okay. And this uh, weekend, uh, I cleaned the house. Uh, okay. So this weekend, you have to work. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. Who else? Do you have plans for the weekend? Uh huh. Or no plans? Work on the platform, no. for for example. Uh -huh. I finished the platform. I ah, finished. very good. Excellent. Well, I go to the beach. Well, you okay. will go to the beach. Yes. Lucky guy, mm -hmm. very good. Which which beach? El Tunco, Costa del Sol, or where? Mm. Playa Dorada. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, I hope you guys have a very good weekend. All right, so remember that we are finishing the week number three. What does it mean? Next week is the last one. So, if everything goes well, that means that next Friday will be the last day together, okay? And you will be ready to move to the next level. So, reminders, platform has to be ready, okay, by next week. And remember that the next week we are going to have the last exam. Some of you already finished uh, the platform. Some of you already uh, finished actually the second exam. So super good. If you can finish the platform before, I mean, do it. There's no problem at all. So uh, remember too, the attendance, some of you have a very good uh, percentage in the uh, 
attendance, but some of you are like in the limit. Okay, so please, the following days, try uh, to be in the class the two hours. Okay, and uh, don't miss the class, please, for everyone. Today, we're going to have a lot of practice too. We will continue talking in simple past. Do you remember the pronunciation of the regular verbs? Yes, did you practice the regular verbs? <laughs> and some of you are like, oh, I know, I hate that topic. Uh huh. So did you practice or not? Hmm. Okay, if you didn't practice, no worries, because we are I'm going to practice laughing. here. <laughs> you didn't practice. Okay, well, okay. It's, he's honest. Okay, no worries. We're going to practice here in the class. All right. So let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Practice in the beach. <laughs> ah, you will practice. Ah, I don't think so, huh? But if you can do it, do it. Okay, everyone, can you see the presentation? Yes. yes? Excellent. Yes. So today is February 17th, and we will continue talking uh, about the verbs in the past, but we will continue practicing the just no questions. Okay, that is the topic for today. Just no questions, not only with the verb to be, but with a different verb, okay? So this is the class objective. At the end of the class, I want you guys to be able to ask and answer questions using the simple past, okay? That's the idea. But before that, let's remember the regular verbs. This is a topic that I want you to practice every single day. So with the practice, you will get perfect. So let's practice. I'm going to show you, well, let's do it. I'm going to show you some verbs and you have to decide what the pronunciation is. If it is going to be id, t, or th, okay? So let's pay attention to the following verbs and Choose the correct pronunciation. So this is the first verb. Push. Push. So in simple past, what do you think? Can I say pushed, pushed, or pushed? Pushed with T, pushed. Pushed, are you sure? Yes. Pushed. Great. That's correct. That's the correct one. So we will say pushed. We cannot say pushed. Mm -mm. No. Push it. Mm -mm. Pushed. Pushed. Very good. Walk. Okay. What about this one? Walk. Volunteer, what is the pronunciation in past? Oh, I think the same, the same, it the walked same. with T. Walked. Walked. Everybody, do you agree? Yes? Okay, let's see. Walked. Yes, that's the correct one, walked. Remember, the last sound is K, K. Mm -hmm. No vibration, See. right? So we will say walked. You cannot Walk. say walked, mm -mm. walked, mm -mm. walked, walked. Okay, look at the next Clean. verb. D. Pronunciation, Clean. please. Cleans. Cleans. Cleaned. 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 That's the one. Cleaned. 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 You cannot say cleaned. Mm -mm. Clean it. Mm -mm. Cleaned. Cleaned. Like when you say David, that's the last sound. Okay, how about Drop. this one? Dropped. Dropped. 
with the letter T. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's the one. Dropped. 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 Remember, last sound, P. So, neither of these ones. Very good. Okay, volunteer oh. for this one. Oh. Uh huh. E. With the letter D. Oh. Cold. 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 That's the one. So remember, cold. Mm -mm. Call it. Mm -mm. Cold. Cold. All right. Next. Add. What will be the pronunciation of add in simple past? Everybody participates. Can I say add, added, or added? Added. Added? Are you sure? Yes. Added. Yes, that's the one. Remember, what is the last sound? A letter D. So if it is ending with the letter D or T, so we need to say id. In this case, added. The other options are not correct. Kiss. Uh huh. What about this one? Kiss. 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 Con te. Kids. 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 T. T or T? T. Sorry. T. <laughs> T. Kissed. Yeah, it does the correct one. Kissed. Okay, T. letter T. Kissed. These ones? Mm -mm. Kissed. Kissed. Let's exaggerate the letter T at the end. Okay. How about this one? Stay. 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 D, D, D. <laughs> <laughs> okay, T or D? D. Are you sure? Sure. Stay. Great. Stayed. So these ones? Mm -mm. Stayed. Stayed. Okay, Wash. what about this one? Wash. Everybody, what do you think? Uh -huh. T? T? Are you sure? What? Yes, sure. Yes. Washed. Washed. Okay, this one's never. Okay, Start. the last one. Start. So. Eat. Can you repeat? Eat. Pronounce Start. it? Sorry. So Start. started. Are you sure? Yes. Started. Yes. So this one's never. Remember, the last sound is the letter T. So we say it started. Very good. Okay. Good job. So far, so good. However, not everybody participates. So I can identify some of you already learned the topic. If you feel that this topic is difficult, so that's the topic that you need to practice the more, okay? Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance. So if you listen to your names, say present, please. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present, teach. Okay, Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Present Miss. All right, Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. I'm here teacher. Good, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Rocío. Karen Rocío, no? Okay. Carla Sofía. 
present. Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. Good. Um, Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good, everyone. So let's continue. We are going to continue practicing the pronunciation of the regular verbs. I have here different sentences. So I want you to read the sentences and pronounce the verbs in the past. So I want to listen to a very good pronunciation of the regular verbs. For example, the pass of clean, you know that you just need to add ed, right? Perfect. But what will be the pronunciation? Can I say, I cleaned my car on Monday? Is that correct? I cleaned my house on Monday. Mm. No, yes. no, right? No. It's correct or not? I cleaned. Ah, very good. Okay, Luis Miguel, can you read the sentence, please? I cleaned my car on Monday. Very good. I cleaned. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to pick randomly some of you. Remember, all of these verbs are regulars. You just need to add ed. So uh, let me pick someone. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm going to pick two. Uh, Jorge Antonio, can you read the number two, please? You walked three miles on Tuesday. Nice job. Very good. Very good. Okay, Atilio, number three, please. We could launch on Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Okay, can, can you repeat again, please? Good. Again? Good. Cooked. Yes. Okay, very yes. good. Okay, be careful with this verb. Imagine at the end there is a letter K, right? So we need to pronounce the letter K and then we need to add a T sound. So we need to say cooked. Okay. Because sometimes we don't pronounce the letter K, only the letter T, and we say we cooked. Not really, because could is something different. So we cooked lunch on Wednesday. Very good, very good. We cooked, we cooked lunch on Wednesday. That's oh. much better, cooked, yes. Okay, next is for Carla. Carla, can you pronounce the number four, please? <laughs> Is regular? <laughs> Actually, then, it is. Days field curtains on Thursday. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, days field curtains on Thursday. Okay, the pronunciation in, in present is so. So, so, regular. so it's regular. So in simple past, remember, we just need to add, oops, ed. So we are going to say so, so. ed, look. So in, in simple present is so, so. So, in simple past, can I say sowed, sowed, or sowed? I think sowed. With the letter D? Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. yes. And actually, yes, that's the correct one. So we will say they sewed curtains on, th on Thursdays. What is the meaning of sew? Anybody knows? Coser. Exactly, that's the one. But we are no. not talking about coser food. No, we are talking about Costura. clothes. Exactly, good job. Okay, let's see. The next one is for Henry. Can you read the number five? Henry, hello. Begin uh, is film. Okay, read the full sentence. He he filmed the movie on Friday. Very good, excellent. Okay, next, Tony, can you read the number six? Yes, teacher. Um, is with I why? Okay. Um, she played chess on Saturday. That's Saturday. the one. She played chess on Saturday. Good job. Okay, let's see the last one. Juan Jose, can you read the last one, please? Uh huh. It rested from its work on Sunday. That's the one. Very good job. Excellent pronunciation, everyone. You see, little by little, we are learning the pronunciation of the regular verbs. It's just about the practice. The more you practice, the more you will uh, get improving. Okay? So please continue practicing this topic in your free time, every moment that you can try to remember the pronunciation. Any questions so far, everyone, about this topic? Regular verbs? Questions? Questions? No? Are you sure? All right. Well, if you don't have questions, so it's moment to talk. I have here only three questions and I want you to practice these questions using the perfect simple past, okay? We can use the verb to be in past and also the regular verbs. For example, look at the first question. How was your week? And tell me why. So everyone, how can I answer this question? How was your week? What will be the answer? Can I say, ah, I was great. Can I say that? What do you think? It's mm. teacher. great. Ah, no. I have to say? It was. It, because I'm talking about the week. So I can say, um, it was great. So if you say that it was great, you have to tell me why. Ah, uh, because da 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 da. Okay. Or you can say a negative adjective. For example, ah, uh, it was awful. Okay. So tell me why. Ah, uh, because it was so hot because it was boring, I don't know, because there was a lot of work, I don't know. So tell me how was your week and explain why. The next question is, what did you do? So what did you do during the full week? So I need details, everyone, okay? But try to use regular verbs. For example, ah, I played soccer with my friends. I worked a lot. I studied English. I watched movies. Uh, also, I washed my car. I don't know. So try to use regular verbs. 
because that's the purpose of this practice. And the last question, how was the job? So everyone, how was the job during this week? Uh -huh. Anyone? It was tired. Ah, good. So remember, can I say tired or tiring? What do you think? Tiring. <laughs> it's tiring, yes, because remember, I'm giving characteristics. Tired is for feelings. Okay, so if you say, I, it was tiring. Okay, tell me why. I, because, oof, and you explain. Or you can say, um, it was relaxing. Okay, so if it was relaxing, tell me why. Uh, today's work or during this week, it was, Great. Great, for example. Yeah. And tell me why. Okay. That is what I need during these questions. Okay. So you will go and ask to your classmates because the purpose is that you talk. But please try to give as many details as possible. In the question number two, what did you do? Remember, I'm asking for the full week. So try to give me details, all right? Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? Questions, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. All right. So if it is clear, I'm sending right now the questions on WhatsApp's group. So everybody, please check the questions and we are going to go and practice with our classmates. So I want to everybody participate, please. And again, remember, the idea is to use the regular verbs. If you want to include, a, for example, irregulars, I mean, it's okay. But the idea is to use more the regulars because that is the topic that we need to improve, okay? So we're going to go and practice. Let me just create the groups. Remember, zero Spanish, please. In this moment, only full English. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, if you are in a group where everybody's listener or is not talking, let me know and I will switch you, okay? So let's go to work. Okay. Okay. Who is that? I asked you the first question, and after you can answer, you can question or you can ask to other, but I think the other two are listener. Okay. Okay. How was your your week? Um, my week when it was uh, fine <laughs> because I feel better than last week from my health. Okay. How was the, how was your week? Okay. 
it was good. A little tired some days about the work, but um, it was a great week. And what did you do? In the week. <laughs> Um, yes. Hey. First question, how was your week? I tell you, why? Uh, I was entertaining me. Uh, do change as manager. Why? I was in tra training. Come see. In what? Who do you say in entertaining? Entertainment. Entertainment. I was entertaining. Hello, Luis Corbera. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Hello, CC. Here's, How are you? Third class. Yeah, manager. My classmate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. What did you do, Otilio? Um, I'm a teenager. Measuring men, measuring men, as it says. I made in signal measuring men, yes. Okay. How was the yo? Why? Um, it was great. Uh, and in, what do you see satisfaction? Satisfied. Satisfied. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, CC. Mm -hmm. How was your week, White? Um, it was great. Why? Because I finished uh, all my work oh. in, in, during the week. <laughs> okay, what did you do? I answered my email. <laughs> I write greeting, greeted. How do you say escribir en pasado, teacher? Wrote. I wrote my um, documents, uh, legal documents, and I how registrar. How do you say registrar? Register. I registered to mark. Oh, wow. okay. How was the job, White? It was tight. Why? Because um, during different, um, different problems and different situations uh, was stressed because I 
I was to work at and work, uh -huh, work at and um, and thinking, and think, 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 think is with K. Uh, 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 and, uh, uh, think, think, okay. I want to, to explain that I think in the past tense, think, 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 uh, at the same time, uh, with different problems and try to, um, establish a very good conversation with my two sisters. And at the same time, resolve different problems in my work and travel to different uh, part of the uh, paracentral zone. And then it's very uh, tired, tired for me because I have to um use so much energy. Okay. And tell me what did you do? Uh, who's the first? Jose or Henry? What did you do in this week? I was do mm -hmm. <laughs> I was do try try it make a new report. Try to make it's a in is a evaluations the the all all towers it the you know, the song occidental occidental song. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We was evaluated the saturation. How do you say saturation? Saturation. Saturation. Uh -huh. yeah. Level of use. Yeah. Level of use. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Numbers of users uh, in, in for 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 one towers. You did the 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 um, the report, or do you need help right now to do this one? Did you do the the I... the, the report? Did you? Did you do the report or do you need it, um, help? I do the, well, I do the new report and I wanted, wanted information, the difference, uh, difference queries <clears throat> to ensemble this new report. Okay. You need very long time or very hours to do this report. Yes, I had a Jose Dolor de Cabeza. Headache. <laughs> Headache. Because they Headache. <laughs> Headache. Headache. Because the, the 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 information is not is not complete. That the information uh, have a, a different holes in 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 the different segments. Uh, 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 some some dates don't have a uh, ge geo references. You say geo references. Geo reference, okay, okay. <clears throat> no, no have a geo reference, and uh, not have a number of the tower, not have a, 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 a use level. Uh, 
7.30 in the night. And I only have uh, 30 minutes uh, for, uh, I don't know, eat or watch TV or see my song, talk with my family uh, from Monday to Friday. Mm. Be because when, when I go to the work in the morning, uh, mm -hmm. Everything are asleep. Mm -hmm. I go. I, I I am going to to my work at three thirty or three forty a.m. You from Santana, no? Yeah, I oh. live in Santana and I work in the uh, Lourdes in front of the Metro Centro in the uh, Export Salva Free Zone. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And my How work, <laughs> my work uh, it was a stressful. Yeah, I work with the people. I work in a factory, and this work is very hard. It's stressful every day. Uh -huh. I, I like it. All right, time's up. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, 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 time's up. Okay, let's see. How was the practice? Easy or difficult to answer the questions? It's easy, but everyone are Perdón, everyone is stressed. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Ah, so guys, yeah, I know. Sometimes I was listening to some of you like, oh, no, it's, right? It's <laughs> but it's Friday, everyone. Yes, it's Friday. We so can. let's yeah. try to relax, everyone. Stretch your arms, relax, okay? Not exam today, so relaxed. Okay, did your classmates um, pronounce correctly the regular verbs? Yes, no, 50-50? We tried. All right, that's the attitude, that's the idea. I want you to try it. The rest of you? What do you think? Did your classmate pronounce uh, the verbs correctly? Yes or no? Or 50-50? Mm, mm. <laughs> okay, we will see. Now, did you listen to any word uh, in Spanish or full English? Full English, absolutely, right? 100%. 90% of English. Ah. Okay, super good, everyone, because I was listening to some groups giving a lot of details. That's great. Super good, because I know that pronunciation of the regular verbs is difficult, but you are trying. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, little details that you have to keep in mind. For example, um, well, I was listening to in Spanish saying satisfecho. So it's satisfied. Okay, satisfied. Pronunciation of this word? Satisfied. Satisfied, okay. And then second word, what is the pronunciation? Headache. That's the one, headache. Okay, with a k sound at the end. Headache. Headache. Now, can I say do if I'm talking in simple past? No. No, did, really. Did. Is did. We are not, a, well, we haven't checked a, the re, a irregular verbs yet. Okay, so relax. We are going to do that. But it's necessary to start studying them. Okay, so we cannot say do, we have to say did. Now look at the next sentence. I was go. Can I say that? No. What is the no. correct one? Because it's uh -huh. word. Look at this. 
I have the verb to be and I have a verb in infinitive. So everyone, remember, we cannot do that. The only way that we can have the verb to be in another verb is that the next verb is in ing, okay? That's the only thing, that's the only way. So in this case, you have two options. So you can say I was and the complement or I went and the complement, but I was go, never, all right? One more time, in the night, hmm, can I say that? At night. Good, At prepositions, night. everyone, prepositions. We cannot say in the night, is at night. Now, be careful with this one, everybody. I know that when we are talking about it, everybody, we are talking about a group of people, right? So we think, ah, it's a group of people. So for me, it's plural. And we say everybody are. Hmm. Is that correct? Everybody is. Exactly. Everybody we cannot say. Children. Good. We cannot say everybody are. We have to say everybody is because yes we are talking about um, a lot of people maybe but we are seeing them as a group as a unit so every time that you say everybody you have to do it as a singular noun if you are in simple past you can say everybody was but everybody were Never. So remember, everybody is like singular. Okay. Now I'm going to interview randomly some of you because I want to listen to you. Uh -huh. Let's see. I'm going to ask always the ones with the camera off. So to, 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 I have a lot of listeners today. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me start with Abigail Bonilla. Hello, Abigail. Hello. So, Abigail, how was your week? It was a little tired. Tiring? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because I... Woke up um, early. Oh my gosh. What time? Um, at three no, fifteen for two four a.m. Oh my gosh, very early. All right, very good. Yes. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, let's see, let's see, Celia. Hello, Celia. Hello. So tell me, Celia, what do you do? I study English. Okay. I answered my email. I brought legal document. Okay. And I wrote a report and I listen, 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 listen. Listened. Listened. I listened my customers or my clients. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Celia. A lot of details. Remember everyone, when we use the verb listened, we always add the preposition to. So we have to say, I listened to my customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Thank you, Celia. Celia, pick someone, please. The last <laughs> one. Uh huh. Camera oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A victim, the ones that you prefer. Oh, okay. Microphone. Luis Corbera está bien. 
Okay. I love you, Kiki. <laughs> okay, Luis, how was Come. your job? It was a stressful. Why? I I have no pardon. I I was checking the signal of the different towers cell the of cellular frequent frequency in the department. I have to draw ¿Cómo sería manejar en pasado? Drove. Drove so many miles. Oh my God. So yeah, very tiring, right? It is fault of Henry. <laughs> so Henry, you see, they say that is your fault. <laughs> I show him. I show him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, but this week is over. I hope all of you had a very nice weekend and that you have a very relaxing week the next week, all right? Well, super good, everyone. If you see, you are talking in simple past. You are pronouncing the regular verbs correctly. So little by little, don't get frustrated and don't give up. We will continue practicing the simple past during the next week. So we will improve, okay? Now, let's stop thinking about the regular verbs. Let's relax, okay? And now let's remember a little bit the just no questions in simple past, but using the verb to be. What is the characteristic? How can I ask a question using the verb to be? Do you remember? Uh huh. Can you give me examples of just no questions with the verb to be? Use a ing with the when the verb. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want, you can use ing. Yes, but what is the structure that I need to follow? The verb to be. Uh huh. Project. A complement. That's the one. Exactly. So remember, we are using just no questions with the verb to be. The idea with these verbs, I mean, with this type of questions, is that I only have one verb. And the verb is the verb to be. So we need the verb to be the subject and then the complement. But pay attention here. Remember that in this type of questions, I only have the verb to be. For example, were you at home? So can I say, for example, um, where you go? to the cinema, for example? What do you think? Can I say that? Where you go to the cinema? It's incorrect because go is verb. Uh -huh. And the question is, did you go to the cinema? Correct. So remember, when I have the verb to be, everyone, it's only the verb to be. I cannot have another verb. As your classmate says, you can add ing. So you can say, instead of saying uh, where you go to the cinema, you going. can say where you going. And that's okay. But in that case, it's not simple present anymore. In that case, is past. Progressive. Exactly. So if you add ing, is past progressive, it's not simple past anymore. So remember, the characteristic of the just no questions with the verb to be is verb to be, subject, complement, but not another verb. If you want to use another verb, we need the auxiliary, and we are going to practice that in a few minutes, okay? Now, important, if I ask you, 
for example, were you busy? If the answer is yes, we need to say yes. Uh huh. Were you I busy? Was. Perfect. So, yes, I was. Or if the answer is no, no, I wasn't. Simple as that. Now, let's see some examples here. I wanted to complete these questions using was or where. For example, look at the first one. Ta -da 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 -da, you at home. What do you think? What would be the answer? Was or where? Were you at home? Ah, very good. Were you at home? Do I have another verb in this sentence? No. No, really. Tried. It's only verb to be, subject, complement. Volunteer for the number two. Was, was or where? Was. Was, was your car on the street? All right, very good. Was your car in the street? Remember in this case, what is the subject? The subject is? Car. Your car. Car. So, third person. Volunteer for the number three, please. Me. Yes. Were the children ill? All right. Very good. Were the children ill? Again, if you see, we don't have another verb. Only verb to be, subject, complement. Uh, next one. Volunteer, please. Was or where? Tony, go ahead. Were the chickens in the field? Okay, very good. Were the chickens in the field? If the answer is yes, what will be the answer? Yes. Mm, there were. Very good. They. Yes, they were. Very good. Okay, next one. Volunteer, please. Uh huh. Was or where? Was, re was dinner ready? All right. Was, was dinner ready? What is the meaning of dinner? Dinner. Exactly. Dinner. So, was dinner ready? Yes, mm -hmm. it was. Good. No, it wasn't. Or, no, it, it wasn't. wasn't. Very good. Okay, volunteer for the next one, please. Was or where? What do you think, everyone? Was there an airport or were there an airport? An airport is in singular or plural? Singular was there ah, an airport. Very good, exactly. Was there an airport? Easy. Okay, what about the next one? The next one says a lot of people. So can I say were there or was there a lot of people? Were there a lot were. of people. Correct. Were. were because it's plural. Okay, volunteer, please, for the next one. Was Cervantes a writer? Very good. Was Cervantes a writer? If the answer is yes, what will be the answer? Yes, he was. he was. Correct. Yes, he was. Perfect. The last one, please. Were you learning Chinese? All right. Now, the last sentence is simple past, yes or no? No, it's past progressive because learning. Ah, very good. 
If you see in this question, this is not simple present. This is past progressive. Why? Because I have a verb in mm -hmm. ing, okay? So remember everyone, characteristic of this type of questions, if you have the verb to be, you cannot have another verb. The only way that you can have another verb is just if you add ing. But in that case, it's not simple present anymore. In that case, it's past progressive. Is it clear, this topic? Is it clear, the just no questions with the verb to be? Tony, go ahead. Do you have a question? Uh, hello? I cannot listen to you. And now, teacher? Yes, can I can listen? hear you now. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. My microphone is off. Uh, I have another question. Go ahead. If you, if you uh, say where you learn Chinese. Like this. Where, oops, sorry, sorry. I'm going to change the color. Like where you learned um, like this? Chinese, uh-huh. Okay, mm, actually it's not possible. Because just imagine everyone, what will be the translation? <coughs> Estuviste tu aprendido Chinese? So doesn't make sense. So it's not possible. So no. Teacher, mm -hmm. a question in the past voice. In the what? I remember oh, the, the past, the passive voice. Voice. The the past objects is the subject. Is, mm -hmm. I remember a little. Yes. Okay. Remember the passive voice? And that's a very good point. But remember, that is a, another grammar tense. The passive voice is when the object becomes into the subject. For example, in this sentence, I can say Chinese. Chinese, if you see, is my complement, is my object. But now in the passive voice, what I'm going to do is to put Chinese at the beginning. And I will say Chinese, then I need the verb to be was, and then I need this verb that is learn in past participle, not in simple past, in past participle. So I will say learned, and then I will add the subject by you. So look at the structure. So in this case, it's not simple past. And the translation is Chinese, el idioma chino, right? Fue aprendido por ti. So the verb learned is not working as a verb in simple past. It's working as a verb in past participle. So in this scenario, of course, you have to combine the verb to be with a verb in past participle. But again, this is another grammar tense. It's not simple past. Is it clear? I don't want you to get confused, but I just want you to be clear. In simple present, we cannot put ah, the verb to be and the verb, no. But in the past passive or in the passive voice, in that case, yes. But again, este verbo no es que esté en pasado. Está en pasado participio. That's a little bit different. ¿Se entiende esa parte? Is it clear, everyone? Yes. No worries that when you studied in the uh, intermediate level, I don't know exactly which one exactly, but you will see this type of topics. 
okay? You will learn like a little bit more uh, different grammar tenses. So you will learn this, no worries. I don't want you to get more confused. In this moment, just pay attention in the simple present. Keep it simple. If you have simple present, structure. Verb to be, and that's it. Not another verb, okay? So, any other questions that you may have, everyone? Questions, questions? Okay, well, if you don't have questions, let's continue practicing. Now, let's see the just no questions always in simple past, but when we have another verb, so imagine what happens if I want to use the verb play or go or studied. So how can I ask a yes no question? Easy. And I want you to see the contrast. In the first box, I have the yes no questions, but with the verb to be. If you have, again, if you have the verb to be, you have to, ha you have to write verb to be, subject, complement. That's it. Verb to be, subject, complement. But if you want to use another verb, in this case, the sentence changes. If you have another verb, you need an auxiliary. So you have auxiliary, subject, and the verb. But if you see, no los podemos mezclar, everyone. In the first sentence, I don't have another verb. And in the second part, I don't have the verb to be. So they are always apart. So important. If I have the auxiliary, what happens to the verb? Do I need the verb in past, in present, in ing, or what do you think? But, past form. Excellent. Base form, no changes because you already have the auxiliary. So, for example, did you study, for example? If the answer is yes, Yes, I did. Very good. Yes, I did. If the answer is no. No, I didn't. As simple as that. Okay. Another example. Imagine if I ask you, hey, everybody, did you go to work today? So what is the answer? Yes, I did. Ah, very good. Yes, I did. If the answer is no? No, I didn't. Perfect. Excellent. Now, a question. Can I say, uh, did you clean your room? Is that correct? No. Why not? Because clean is not past form. Ah, look. If I have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes. It's in the base form. So easy like that. Now, can I say, for example, instead of clean, um, did you do, 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 do? Okay, imagine if I write something like this. Where you answer emails, is that correct? No, because be where is verb to be. Uh -huh. The is other word. Good. So we cannot combine. If you have the verb to be, don't add another verb. If you have another verb, so you need the auxiliary. Did you answer emails? Okay. So everyone. Is it clear the difference when we use the simple past with the verb to be and when we use another verb? 
Yes. Can I say, did you at the beach? No. What would be the, imagine, what would be the translation? Did you be at the beach? I mean, did you at the beach? No, no, no verb. It doesn't make sense because we don't have a verb. The translation will be like, tu en la playa? <laughs> so, what? It doesn't make sense. So in this case, we will say, where were you, you at the beach? Exactly. So that is what you have to remember. Again, if you have the verb to be, only the verb to be. Verb to be, subject, complement. If you have a different verb, okay. So you just need to add the auxiliary. Is it clear? Everyone? Yes, a little bit. Repeat, please, teacher. Sure. All right, look at this, everyone. We need to identify two types of questions. There are some questions that have the verb to be. Examples, were you happy? Um, were you stressed? So those type of questions have the verb to be. If the questions have the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary, okay? I'm going to write that. If you have the verb to be in the sentence, you don't need the auxiliary. It's not necessary, okay? But also, you don't add another verb. That's what you need to remember when you have sentences or questions with the verb to be. But if in the question you have another verb, no the verb to be, but another verb. So if you have a different verb, that means no the verb to be, right? So in that case, you need the auxiliary. That in this case, the auxiliary is mm. did. And please, in this case, don't add the verb to be. Okay, that is what you have to remember. I don't know if it is clear or 50-50 at least. For me, see. thank you, Miss. Excellent, very good. We will have practice, don't worry. And the purpose for this uh, class and in this moment is that you have to check the difference between verbs with the verb to be, questions with the verb to be, and questions with a different verb. Okay. Let's move on. Let's have another practice. Um, if you want to take notes, do it. If you want to take a screenshot for this specific box so you can have the difference, you can do it, okay? Because this box is, is very special. It's, it has all the information in a very clear way. Okay, did you copy? Can I switch? Yes. Can I move to the next one? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, now, let's see. Look at these sentences, look at the contrast, look at the difference, and tell me what will be the answer. The first question says, did it rain last week? What is the verb in that sentence? Rain. Very good. The verb is rain. Do I need the verb to be in this sentence? Yes or no? Yes. 
Do I need was or were in this sentence? No, right? Because I have the verb. So did it rain last week? If the answer is no, what will be the complete answer? It Can didn't. I? Ah, very good. No, it didn't. Can I say no, it wasn't? Can I say that? No, teacher. No, we can't because we don't have the verb to be. Look at the next one. Did Mr. Smith go to work this morning? So look, I have a different verb. The verb is go. So I don't have the verb to be. What will be the answer? Yes. He did. Very good. Yes, he did. Now, volunteer for the next sentence. Read it, please. Was it hot yesterday? Thank you. What is the verb in this question? The verb to be is was. Exactly. Look, do I have another verb in the sentence? No. No, right? Only the verb to be. So, was it hot yesterday? If the answer is yes? It was. Good job. Yes, it was. The next one, volunteer for reading. Were they at home yesterday? Very good. Look, I have the verb to be. Do I have another verb? Not really, right? So I don't need the auxiliary. What would be the answer? If the answer is no. They weren't. They weren't. Very good. No, they weren't. weren't. Easy. So if you have the verb to be, we answer with the verb to be. If you have the auxiliary did, we answer with did. Clear, everybody? 50-50, more practice? More uh -huh. practice, please. Absolutely, very good. Okay, um, let's see. We are going to jump uh, the next examples because of the time. Let's see this conversation. In this conversation, we are going to see how we can use when we have the auxiliary and when we have the verb to be. And then we are going to have another practice. Let me open up the conversation and I will need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Me, did you? Thank you, Jorge. Who else? Another volunteer, please. Oh my gosh. Me teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Okay, Kenya, you will be Mrs. Lewis. Uh, Jorge, you will be Eric. Go ahead. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks. Thanks for, that. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very no knowledge no knowledgeable 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 did he provide examples of the topics he talked about yes he did and i used a computer to provide examples sounds good so everything was fine right well, it was some minutes late and we left very late. Very good, thank you. So look at this. Can you tell me a question with the verb to be? Can you see a question using the verb to be? 
How was the training? Very good. How was the training? Look, I don't have another verb, only the verb to be. Can you see a question using a different verb? Yes. Which one? Did he provide examples? Very good. Did he provide examples? If you see, I don't have the verb to be. That's why I need the auxiliary. Okay? So, this is important, everyone. Keep in mind that structure. Here, we are going to see some examples. Again, when we have just no questions with a different verb, so the structure is simple. Add the auxiliary, subject, a different verb, no the verb to be, and then just the complement. For example, did the speaker use a computer in the speech? I don't have the verb to be in that sentence. And the answer is simple. Yes, he did or no, he didn't. If I have the auxiliary, I will answer with the auxiliary. Or for example, did the listeners ask questions? So again, yes, he did, they did or no, they didn't. I don't have the verb to be here. Okay? Now, let's have practice. I have here different sentences. Look. And I want you to use the verbs that I have here in parentheses and the subjects that are here too. And I want you to write the questions. For example, in the number one. You meet your boss yesterday. So I need the just no question. Do I need the auxiliary or the verb to be? What do you think? The auxiliary. Ah, very good. So what will be the question? Did you meet? Ah, did you meet your boss yesterday? If the answer is yes, what will be the answer? Yes, I did. Ah, if the answer is no? No, I didn't. Simple, very good. So, what about the number two? The subject is she, the verb is attend. What will be the question? Did she attend? All right, very good. Did she attend the July conference? So, I don't need the verb to be. Now, I will be asking individually. Let's see. Um, Atilio, what will be the question in the number three? Um. The subject is they and the verb is stay. So what will be the question? Uh, did they did they stay did they stay like this yes in the meeting last night yes correct did they stay in the meeting last night perfect yes. excellent Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Jose Ezequiel, can you give me the number four, please? Ezequiel, you there? Okay, let's see. Jorge, help him. Number four. Did he pass the test? Very good. Did he pass the tests? Excellent. Number five, let's see. Carla, number five. Carla, are you there? Okay. 
Hello? Okay, let's see. Volunteer for the number five. The subject is you, the verb is have. What is the question? Yes, I, I see a volunteer. Tony? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Very good. Did you have fun? So if you see, only verbs. We don't have the verb to be right there. Okay, because of the time, number six, the last one, what would be the question? Abigail Bonilla? Did it start on time? Very good. Did it start on time? Perfect. So everyone, this is a way that we can create just no questions if we have a different verb. Is it clear? Yes. Questions, everybody? Questions, questions? No questions, are you sure? No. No. Do, uh, ready for an exam? <laughs> Aha. Okay, if you don't have questions, I do, okay? Let's have a quick exam and let's see if you truly understood the topic or not. So everyone, what we are going to do right now, and I hope everybody is paying attention, we are going to see some sentences and you have to decide if I need the verb to be or a different verb, okay? Let's see the first one. Look at the sentence. Ta 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 ta, you a student. Hmm, what do you think? Can I say, did you a student or were you a student or was you a student? What do you think? Was. was were you, you a student? You yes, I was. Ah, so in the first one, I need where. Well, and in the answer, yes. Was. I was. <laughs> Why do I need the verb to be and not the auxiliary did? Why? Because you don't have the other verb. Excellent. Perfect. Very good. Okay, the next one. Look at the question. Did your brother travel last year? No. Can I say, no, they weren't? No, they didn't. Ah, very good. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Okay, the next one. Volunteer, please. What will be the question here? Was, did... If... Was your friend busy last week? Yes, he was. Ah, very good. If you see everyone, I don't have another verb. So I just need the verb to be. Very good job. Okay, did it snow last uh, summer? What is the answer? No, it didn't. Very good. No, it didn't. I cannot say no, it wasn't because I don't have the verb to be. Okay, how about the next one? What would be the answer? Volunteer for reading, please. Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading the sentence? Me. Yes? Was it cold last week? Mm -hmm. What would be the answer? Yes, yes it, was. it was. Correct. Yes, it was. Very good job. Okay, how about this one? Volunteer for reading. Did or where? What do you think? Did. Did. Did you know the answer? 
If the answer is no? No, I didn't. Very good. So, if you see, I have a verb. So that's why I need the auxiliary. Okay, next. Da, 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 da. Thomas here this morning. So did or was? Was. was. Ah, very good. If the answer is yes? It was. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. So if you see, it's very easy to identify when do I need the verb to be and when the auxiliary. <laughs> okay, look at this. Did you eat? Eating or ate breakfast? Eat. Eat. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Because remember, if you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes. Only base form. Okay. Look at this one. Hmm. Was you watch TV? Did you watch TV or did you watch TV? Letter C, did you watch TV? Are you sure? Yes. Definitely. Very good job. Excellent. So look, I have another verb. So that's why I need the verb to be. Okay, the last one because of the time. What do you think? Were they, uh, were they your books or did they your books? Are they your books? What do you think? Were they your books? Were they your books? Yes, okay. they were. Good job. Excellent. So everybody, this is a way that we can identify if I need the auxiliary or if I need the verb to be. Clear, everybody? Yes, 50-50 or easy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, everyone. I see you a little bit of stress. Relax, stretch your arms, everyone. Relax, move your neck, your head. Okay, let's find it out if you truly understood the topic. Let's do another practice. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the instruction. All right, if I question about... Oh. Uh, can you see the screen? No. No, no, lead. no teacher. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me share it again. And now, can you see it? Oh my gosh. Okay, one second, it's a little bit slow. It's ready. Mm -hmm. It's Friday and the computer. <laughs> the computer doesn't want to continue working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about now, can you see it? Clarify question about past events at your world place or daily daily life, then as to a classmate. Thank you. So everybody, I want you to write five questions, but I don't want you to use the verb to be. I want you to use different verbs. Okay, so. That's the idea. Please don't use the verb to be. So don't use was or where. In this moment, I was. I want just no questions, but with the auxiliary. Follow the examples. Did you arrive late at work this week? If you see, I have auxiliary. And the verb is arrived. I don't have the verb to be in the sentence. Another example. Did you eat fast food yesterday? 
Again, I have auxiliary, I have a verb, but I don't have the verb to be, okay? So please, in your notebooks, write five questions. Yes, no questions using different verbs. Go ahead. Follow the structure. Auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Go ahead. You will have five minutes to complete this exercise. Write five questions. You can use regulars or irregular verbs. The ones that you prefer. Remember, if you have the auxiliary, the verb, and the base form. Go ahead, you have five minutes. ¿Se entiende la activity, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. If you have questions, please tell me if you need help with the vocabulary or with the structure, just let me know. You have five minutes. If you need help, let me know, please. If you have questions, tell me, I will help. Do you have three more minutes?
Okay, everybody, you ready? Do you have the five questions? Yes, no yet? Hmm, okay, well, you finished. I'm going to check attendance one more time. So if you listen to your names, please say present. Um, let's see, Abigail Mejia. Okay, uh, Andrea Amalia. Present teacher. All right. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Carlos Alberto. Present. Okay, Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Very good. Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Right. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Right. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. Okay. Carla Sofía. Carla Sofía. All right. Carol Elizabeth. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Sandra Abigail. Present. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Jan Siquelita. Present. José Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. All right, everyone. Now, what we are going to do is to interview your classmates. For example, um, Tony, can you tell me one of your questions, please? Yes. <laughs> Did you work in the platform yesterday? Ah, very good question. So, did you work on the platform yesterday? So, what I want you to do, everyone, is just answer. That. <laughs> <laughs> so if your answer is yes you have to say yes i did wow, no. or no i didn't simple oh, my okay and then another classmate ask another question so please if you listen that your classmate makes like a little mistake so try to help them because the idea is that we help each other. Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's go to the breaking rooms. Let's go to practice, everyone. And please, again, no Spanish. If you don't understand the question, you can ask your classmate, what do you mean? Can you repeat? I don't understand. Okay, so your classmate will repeat the question. Okay, so everybody, let's go to work, ask the question and answer. Yeah, I'm available. Okay, do it. Okay, I'm asking you. Um, did you work in Walmart? Yes, I did. 
okay um did uh, did he see the tv program no i didn't i don't have tv okay <laughs> your story <laughs> Don't worry, I don't have TV too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> did they play basketball? No, I didn't. I don't have time. Did they play basketball? Next. <clears throat> Hello. Will you hear the question? Yes. Okay. Uh, I said, did they? Did they play basketball? Ah, uh, did. Ah, uh, you say did. Yes, she, yes, they, yes, uh -huh. they did. Okay. Did you climb the mountain? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Um, did the teacher uh, teach Santa, the Santa, Santa, uh, Volcan. Okay. <laughs> okay, the last one. Did the teacher teach the class yesterday? Yes, she did. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, did you go to the new route? No, I didn't. Did he try start the car? Yes, he did. Mm, I when to the be the Tunko Beach. Were you at the beach the last month? Where? The place? Yes, no. Where the to be? be? Repeat. Were you at the beach the last week, the last month? Mm, no, I go. I was sent. Okay. The last question. Did you study study English the last Monday? Yeah. I. I did. Okay, okay. Now ask me your mm. question. Did you want to go to the beach last month? Did you what? And uh, I, I, I know that. Did you go to gym yesterday? No, I didn't. Um, did you eat beef last? I, 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 I. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did a dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Celia. Uh huh. Did you receive the English class yesterday? Yes, I did. 
Now. Yes. <laughs> hi, Tisha. No, remember. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just uh -huh. listen the way that Celia is laughing and enjoying this moment. Yeah. She's always <laughs> laughing. She's always <laughs> laughing. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh -huh. why 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 is she laughing? For everything. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Celia, is that she, true? She she is, um. is laughing. She take a shower. She's, <laughs> she, she's she's taking an exam. She's laughing. She's laughing. Yeah. She she is fire anyone in the <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Be careful. Be, be careful. She's a liar. liar. <gasps> oh my gosh! Uh, so Celia. <laughs> Imagine, my goodness. Okay, uh -huh. let's see. Luis, can you ask one of your questions, please? Yes. Uh, Celia, did you receive the English class yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. Tilio, did you do the five, perdón, did you write five questions? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. All right, Atilio, ask one of your questions, please. Okay. Uh, Miguel, did you arrive at a girl on time yesterday? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Really? No, really? <laughs> oh, oh, Luis you... Miguel, say the truth. Don't yeah. lie. <laughs> I, I, I came two hours late. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Okay. I'm not my boss. <laughs> All right. Atilio, yeah. ask, ask one question to Celia, please. Uh, Celia, mm -hmm. did you go to to the beach last weekend? Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> and you see, and she, she she didn't invite you guys. She yeah. didn't no. invite you because she <laughs> lives in, in San Miguel. <laughs> she she is she is at the <laughs> beach and she's laughing. Yeah, <laughs> with, uh -huh. with uh, Bloody Mary in the in. in uh, Mary. Ah, oh my goodness, uh, Celia. Curva. Ah. Who you this Curva? Cuba. <laughs> Cuba. Uh -huh. all, all right. Look, I need to check another team. So, but please continue asking different questions. In this moment, I know that you're already finished, but try to continue practicing and don't say anything in Spanish. All right. Problem, teacher. Right. Very good. Okay, continue. We have no problem with that. Actually, we talk very good English. That's, I know, and, and Celia, why are you laughing? Come on. She, she's laughing in English. That's good. Okay, okay continue, please. Fun <laughs> hour every night. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's too from, from Monday to, hour. to Friday. Okay, and the weekend? And on the day, <laughs> no, no, uh, in in my work and um, with my co workers, um, uh, with uh, the turn of the overtime on the weekend, for example, tomorrow mm -hmm. I had to work, uh, the okay. other Saturday, my co workers uh, will work. Uh, on they change. Okay. Yeah. You don't work and they work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this one is very difficult. Did you feel, did you fulfill your work schedule this week? I I, I try to use fulfill, but I don't know is the, the correct word. Maybe it's com compliant or 
complete did you complete your work schedule this week or complete i don't know if this is the correct word actually i it's... means to say if complete. you want to say yes, you, you can say that. Or... You can say fulfill. Fulfill is the correct or, word. Or yes, you can use fulfill or you can say reach. Reach. Yes, I'm sending in the chat. Give me a second. Reach. Reach. In simple past, add ed because it's regular. Reached. Ah, reached. Okay. So did you reach? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, then did you fulfill your work schedule this week or did you reach your work schedule this week? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No. Okay, and you, Jorge? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. And why are you laughing, Tony? Oh my gosh. <laughs> because I make a schedule and I try to complain the 80% every day is too hard but if I don't uh, make this uh, I feel that my life is a mess <laughs> uh, okay all right I have I a schedule too for my week but um, in my department we were eight eight persons and right now we Eight are people. only people and right now we are only four and the activity we have it's more activities and exactly. i have i have my schedule i have the activity of the region but i have to help them and for the reason i have my plan but on a Friday, I have other activities that I don't plan. <laughs> the plan B, C, D, E, and C. All the full yeah. alphabet. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh. I, I, I think that this is very, very important to, to use a, a schedule because this is the way that you um, do your goals. But if you don't have the um, the the goal very very defined is more difficult that you meet all the goals or you um do all the goals all the goals that's uh, correct that's and, so you need to uh, be very organized in, in my case uh, we we did it but sometimes um other department um asked to us for new activities because i am um auditor and i i have an specific activities but the los dueños the owners sometimes want other activities and in this case <laughs> We have to do it. Okay. My gosh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Very okay. Interesting, interesting. All right. Sorry, everyone, but we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Let's See go you. back. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back. Okay. Time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates that are still in the breaking rooms. Okay, let's wait for them. Let's go back, let's go back everyone. Okay, so how do you feel the practice? Easy? Difficult? Uh huh, easy? 50 50. I was listening to some teams talking a lot. Huh? Very talkative. <laughs> and that's the idea, everyone. I love when you talk because you are participating a lot. So, did your classmate ask? the correct questions with the correct structure yes yes ah very Absolutely. good <laughs> nice did your classmates answer 
the questions correctly? Yes. He lied, but yes. <laughs> ah, oops. They lied. Spanish, everyone? What is that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay, everyone, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we're going to stop here. Just remember, you need to finish the platform just one more week, everyone. So keep going. Try to keep uh, in mind the attendance. And as always, we have one winner. And the winners for today is... Da -da 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 -da. Mr. Luis Miguel. Direct, direct to, be, to beach. <laughs> okay, so the rest of you, everyone, you can go and rest. Have a very good night, a super good weekend. Try to relax and rest and see you on Monday, okay? Good Monday. Bye. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. goodbye. Take care. Shake off those lists. <laughs> Why everybody enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering the same. Yeah. All right. Good night. Only Luis stays. Okay, Mister, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Ah, uh, so far so good. A little bit tired, but it's Friday. <laughs> yes, me too. A any any plans for the weekend? Um, I think I we have work. <laughs> only work yeah only work okay yeah. that's a little bit sad but me too you know i i work the full weekend so yeah okay. i know the feeling okay this little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have uh not only about the class but also about the platform or about uh, the program so this is your moment <laughs> so is there any questions that you may have yes uh, for me, everything is clear. I learned a lot. Actually, my, my birdie say, you have the very good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. He, That's great. <laughs> he came to USA for one, for three weeks and he listened to the class. Ah, okay. So Every you can day. You, you can practice with him. Yes, with uh, his his dagger. His dagger may called me and Talk to me for twenty minutes. I try to to take a no. ¿Cómo sería tener have a conversation to have a full After conversation? Have a good conversation with her. And I shine with my brother, but because he he know a lot English, he live in this place for twenty five years. I know, but don't be afraid. I mean, take advantage because. You have that advantage. Not everybody has like someone they can practice with. So you have someone, an expert. So do it, practice, <laughs> don't be afraid. My, my mistake is when I try to think the things. Think you, you overthink. The, overthink, yes. I try to the, do the, the things fast or say the something fast, but this is a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happens is that sometimes we want to speak fast and we want to say many things. And at the end, we say nothing. And, and yeah, we are like, way. what? I don't know how to say it. Can't <laughs> <you. laughs> Something like that. So, yeah. I mean, but it's totally normal, right? So don't get frustrated and keep going. And just try to organize a little bit more your ideas. Remember that if you speak fast, it doesn't mean that you have a good English. And that yeah. is something that most yeah. people think. Ah, if I speak fast, it's because I'm very good. Or that happens also when people read. Ah, they want to read in English very fast because they think mm -hmm. if I read fast, I'm super top, right? But that is not. Fluency is not speaking fast. It's speaking yes. in a way that I, people can understand you. So what do you think you that know, is more difficult? Uh-huh. The past, for me, the past is more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> the but, regulars or the irregulars? The, but, but then. Both of them. <laughs> okay. 
I tell you why. I try to learn English with when since I was a child. No sé cómo. Only listen music, see, see movies. I I listen only English music. Music English, okay? Yeah, music English because I love the artists. I love the rock. Ah, and good. I try to learn the glam too, but it's difficult. It's difficult. It is definitely. Yeah, actually, I I talk with with um, como se dice, suizo. A Swedish. Swedish le. The, the last week. Oh, they, cool! They, they are. They need help in the Sonsonate downtown. I try to to talk with her, with with her couple and he. Uh, they, I think they understand me. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. So, Probably no, but they, but but th that's good because you are practicing with people with different accents, with different yeah. accents. So, extra bonus, very good. My brother says we we try to talk exactly English, like a British English, but I don't know. I don't I don't know what is a uh, English American English. What is what is the difference um, British English? Mm, there are different uh, different differences. For example, the pronunciation, they exaggerate a little bit more the letter T or the letter R. So the pronunciation that they have is, is like a little bit different. Also, uh, I consider that they use different words. Uh, for example, we in English, American English, we say elevator to talk about el ascensor, right? We say elevator, but they don't, they say lift. So My, there are there are different words that are like totally different. So that is another uh, differences in that language. And some people consider that British is like more formal, more polite than more polite. American English. Mm -hmm. It's like Castellano. We can say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, the idea, we try to imitate the American, right? Because that is the ones that we will use. It's not so common that you talk with a British person, but it's more common that you talk to an American. So that is the one that we need to try to imitate. So okay. you have the advantage. Practice to your family. So you, you're doing great. And something that I like is that you can practice with your classmates and you are helping them. So please keep going that like that okay yeah, i try <laughs> <laughs> and and it doesn't matter if celia is laughing a lot you are helping her so good i love that girl always <laughs> <be happy. laughs> yeah i can see that, that i like yeah. that okay uh, i don't know if you have any other question or any other comment before leaving no i'm good Okay, so practice the verbs, please. Don't give up. Next week, we are going to continue practicing the simple past. Okay? okay thank you. Very good. Good night. good night. Have a good weekend. See you on Monday. Thank you.